Foundation. I'm one of the handlers. I'm one of the handlers here at the Endangered Art Foundation. Uh, this is Delrina. She's one of the residents here that we have. She's an Asian elephant. She's 47 years old. Uh, she's about nine and a half feet tall. She's just under 9,000 pounds. She's one of our bigger girls here on property. And believe it or not, she's my favorite elephant. So uh, I like to be around her quite a bit. She, I hope she enjoys my company as well because we see each other quite a bit. But uh, today we're going to do a little bit of artwork. We're going to show you kind of uh, some of the different types of artwork that we do here. Now, the reason we do some of this stuff is because <clears throat> elephants are very intelligent animals. They can learn anywhere from 200 to 250 different words and phrases. They are number five on the most intelligent animal list. Back up, Dorita, come here. So what that means is that we want to make sure that they're not only physically stimulated, we want them mentally stimulated. So just how when we go to school, they tell us our brain is a muscle and we have to work out, we got to learn, make a lot of knowledge, learn a lot of knowledge. That's how we work our brains out. Come here, Dorita, back up. Back up. So that same thing applies for elephants. They're very intelligent. So you wanna make sure that they're always using their brains. We wanna keep that brain activity quite up. So everybody here is retired circus elephants. So we do uh, put them through small routines that they probably did when they were performing to keep their brain activity up as well. But other things that we do here is teach them how to do different types of artwork. And that way um, they can learn about how to do a bunch of different things that they do already every day on their own. And we just kind of take those behaviors and we modify them just a little bit to make them be able to do artwork with us. And it's very stimulating for their brain because even though um, elephants do see in color, so they get stimulation from seeing all those colors when they, when they paint something or they spray paint something or they make a footprint or, or whatever kind of paint that we do here, any type of art we do, that, that's gonna be a very big step to the brain because of the color they see that they're applying to, to the world around them. So it's very interesting. So we're gonna start off right away with one of our uh, easiest uh, types of artwork here. It's called just, so we're gonna call them uh, our spray paints or our blow shirts or our blow posters, whatever you wanna call them, right? Come here, Delrita, back up. Come here. All right. Come here, come on this way. Come this way, come here. Keep her up, back up. Go, back up. And tell them to send, local, 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 so I'm going to show you guys real quick the tools that we use to make our spray shirts, okay? So first thing we're going to use, the type of paint we use is non-toxic acrylic paint. Now it comes off of their skin and our skin pretty easily. That's why we for both of us. Now it doesn't come off clothes or paper quite well. That's why we like use it because it really sticks and grabs onto whatever it goes onto. So we want to make sure we use that. That good stuff right there. Okay. Yo, Rita, come here. She sees those treats, so she's already asking for one. Come here, Rita, back up. Come here. Over here, Good girl. Steady. All right, so let's get started. Fourth of July is just a month away, so we're gonna make something a little patriotic today. I think that's what we, what I feel like we should do today. So that's what we're gonna do. Come here, Rita. Okay. Come here, give me a hand. Trunk, come here. Trunk, girl. Trunk, give me a hand. Oh, I think we're going to do red and white stripes. I think that looks pretty good. We'll do red and white stripes. Come here, give me a hand. Hello. Sean, give me a hand. Hello. I think we can add one more strike, maybe. To get away with it. That'll work. Come here, Rick. Give me a hand. Come here. Trunk, give me a hand. Go. I think that looks pretty okay. Not that lie. That's why that's a problem. So, not very hard. All she has to do is exhale. Come here, steady. All she has to do is exhale. She gets rewarded for it. That's pretty interesting. 
Now we did red, uh, we did some red and white, and then later on, we're gonna add a little bit more color to it, I think, all right? But I think that was pretty easy. Now, come here, Rita. Let's just go. Baja esta y pon la camisa negra. Okay, good girl. There you go. Now, of course, Dorita just did something for us, right? She did a behavior that we asked her to do. So of course, we're gonna give her a treat today. We've got some graham crackers. She likes graham crackers, so we're gonna give her some. We're gonna put them right in there in her mouth there. Thank you so much, she did so good. So that's another thing that we have to remember. Anytime an elephant does something for us, does a behavior and action that we ask them to do, we have to reward them for that. So we have to make sure that we'll always have some treats on hand. Today, we're gonna to use animal crackers. Uh, I mean, graham crackers and maybe some apples. Uh, yesterday, we used celery. Celery is also a really good treat. It's pretty healthy. But today, we're gonna to use graham crackers with a little bit of sweetness today, okay? Back up though, Reba. Come here, good girl. Now, the next type of art we're going to show you is going to be the exact same behavior that we just did, but we're going to use a shirt this time, okay? And we're going to show you guys how we do some of our spray shirts here. Now, our spray shirt you can actually order. See, our spray shirt you can actually go on our website at endangeredartfoundation.org, and you can order a customized shirt with the colors you choose, and uh, Del Rita will spray them onto a paint, and she's not the only one that can do this. We have a few elephants that can do this behavior as well. But like I said, again, she's my favorite elephant. So anytime I do some artwork, I like to use Del Rita because she's quite good at it. She's one of our best artists. Come here, back up a little bit. So we're gonna do a spray shirt today, okay? And I think we're gonna do some bright colors. I really want some bright colors today. So come here, Del Rita, let's do some more color. Come here, back up. Let's do some yellow. I think yellow looks pretty cool. No, yeah. uh, oh, let's do pink. I think yellow, pink, and one more color. What do you think, Pedro? Uh -huh. No, not orange. Let's do, uh, how about purple? Do you like purple, Pedro? Yeah. Let's do purple. Okay. So these are the colors we're going to do right now for this term. Okay. So it's black. It's a black shirt. But we want to make sure, come here, read. Then we got some really bright colors. Oh, this is for the red one. Is that blue? So let's do, uh, this one's green. Okay. Now again, uh, just so you guys see the tools we're using. All right, so this you see straws, okay? You can see right through them. And what I do is I take the paint, I put the paint on one end of the straws and I take the other end without any paint and put that in the trunk and then she'll blow it out. So it doesn't actually go into her trunk, okay? But even if it did, it's totally fine because it is non-toxic and it just washes right out with a little bit of water. So we gotta worry too much. Come here, Rita. Come here, come over here. All right, so let's do this light blue first. I like this light blue, it's a nice color here. You get some of that paint on there. Yeah, it's pretty nice and evenly, just like that. Here, give me a hand. Okay, I need the top corner there. Low, low. Okay, okay we're gonna do some yellow. Here's the yellow one. Come here, come over here. There we go, we've got the yellow straws. So each straw has its own color. I don't like to mix my colors up. That way you can always get nice bright colors all the time. Come here, trunk. Blow. Here we blow. Come on, a little bit more paint, hold on. Give me a hand. Come here, give me a hand. Go read. Blow. Okay, you got we're gonna do some pink, shake our pink up a little. Okay. Add some color with this one. There you go. Okay. Give me a hand. Look. Look. And now we're gonna do our last color. We're gonna add some purple. I actually really like the purple. Purple is a good color as well. Paint on there, just like that. Okay. Reach my hand. Blow. Blow. There you go. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? That looks good, Pedro. You like that one? You're good. You're good. I think so too. Come here, Rita. So that's pretty much that's how we do our spray shirts. Now, now that she did what we asked, what do we have to do? Of course, we got to give her some treats. We got some more graham crackers here. She's ready for them. We'll see you. She's done. Thank you. There you go. 
Yeah. So that's a come here, give me draw. So that's one of the ways we can do that. Okay. So like I said, you can go onto our website, you can get customized shirts that way. All right. Now we're gonna show you uh, real quick um, how I can take that same behavior of just exhaling. And I can modify it a few different ways. So this is an art class, and not only an art class do you color and paint, uh, but you also play music, right? Music is a type of art. Come here, Rita, give me a hand. You play that. Play it, good girl, play it. Play it, good, play it. Play it, play it. Good girl, play it. All right, thank you so much. Good job, good girl. Do you have any more treats? I think we need to have some over here. Let me grab some. Oh, you got some there? Awesome. So that's another type of way that we can take the behavior and modify it another way where she can do the same thing. Now, you remember how I said you got to have uh, an action with a reaction or you got to have some type of stimulant for her wanting to do that. So with the spray shirt, it's the colors that she sees getting put onto a shirt. With the harmonica, it's a little bit different because there's no colors, but she can hear her playing the sound. So the sound is going to be a stimulant. So that's the way we take that and we can change it up a little bit. But it's the exact same thing she already knows how to do. Come here, Debbie, back up a little bit. Back up. Come here. Back up. Come over here. Crunch. Give me a hand. Let's just, come here. Give me a hand. So if I do this, blow. It's the exact same thing, all right? But I just put something in between there. So now she's kind of changing it up and her brain gets a good workout by doing that. Way. Come here, Reed. Get around. Get over. So we're going to show you one more, another type of uh, artwork that we do here. They're called elephant kisses. Come here, don't read it. Get around. Come here. Get around. Get around this little vessel. Good. See? They got me fun. So that's where we're going to take a little bit of that non-toxic acrylic paint again, right? I'm going to put it on the outside of the tip of her trunk, and we're going to put it onto a T-shirt. Okay? So we're going to show you guys how we do that one real quick. Uh, you want to get the T-shirt ready, Pedro? It's right over there. I think... Uh, Let's do a bright color today, Pedro. What do you think? Um, I've got this. I've got this turquoise right here. I think this turquoise would look pretty okay. Back up a little. Back up. We're going to do a turquoise on our trunk today. So of course, take a little bit of that paint. I'm just going to put it on my fingers here, just like this. Not much to it. Just like that. Okay. Trunk, Rita. Trunk, give me a hand. Okay, and we're just gonna apply it to the outside of her trunk, just like that. Quit, steady. Okay, listo. Okay, just nice, evenly, just like that. Okay, ready? Here we go. Ready? Let's do one more. Trunk, give me one more right there. Good job. Trunk, trunk. Now, of course. She's got her trunk dirty. I got my hand dirty trunk, good girl. We're gonna rinse them off real quick. So we always got our holes here ready to go. I'm gonna rinse my hand. She's ready to rinse hers. Trunk, give me a hand. Thank you. Rinse that off. Rinse that off, like that. Ready, good girl. Get it all off. So we just kind of a little bit. Gonna have a drink here. I'll just fill her up. So she can hold about two, two and a half gallons in a truck. You know, maybe one more. Get a little paint on your truck. Come in. Trunk in my hand. Get a little paint on there. There you go. Well, it's kind of warm, huh? Oh, it's kind of hot. So get some of that hot water out of there. Out, trunk. Trunk. Well, it's kind of warm. Pedro. Trunk. What the mess that one for, bro? Trunk. Good girl. Trunk. Trunk. What the mess that one? Well, I'm going to get some of this hot water out so I can give her a drink. Hey, you got me. So, 
now we can give her a drink. We clean out our barrel. Come here, Reed. Got a little wet. That's okay. Every day, it's just like how hot it is. So it's not that hot. It's kind of cool today, so she's not going to drink that much. But she had a little bit of thirst. That's okay. We'll give her a quick drink, and then of course we got to give her some more treats. We're gonna switch it up. Let's give her an apple. Come here, you want an apple? Come here. An apple trunk. Good girl. We're gonna give you an apple. There you go. So she can have an apple for doing such a good job with the kisses. Uh, did you guys get to see the the, the, the kisses? Okay. So that's how we would do those. There's not much to it. It's pretty easy, uh, but it doesn't take much pain either. And you just kind of knock them out as you go real easy there. And we're going to squeeze you some of this water out of the way uh, because the next thing we're going to show you guys is another type of artwork that we do. It's an uh, elephant's version of a uh, of finger painting. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. So, let's set up at the office. Let's set up at the office. Got a little way. So, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get ready for uh, some of the footprints we're gonna make. All right, so we're gonna get one of our poster boards ready because we're gonna make it kind of special. All right, so we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna do some more spray shirt stuff. Mary, draw. So, as I said, come here, Rita. Come over here, good girl. All right, so we're gonna get one of our poster boards ready. All right, red. So we're gonna start off with some red. Again, red, red's always a good color because it's very bright. Gives you exactly what you need. Come here, Ray. Your hands come over here. Blow, blow, don't read blow. You blow, blow, you go blow, blow. You gotta blow that water out. Blow, blow. Okay, trunk, okay, give me a hand, here we go. Blow. Here we go. Do some orange now. Get that all in there. The chat is disabled. Yeah. Blow. Some more yellow. Come here, Rita, give me a hand. Come here. Come here, give me a hand. Blow. Green. Here you go. Blow. Some blue. It's a good color blue. Give me a hand, Rita. Hello. Okay, we need one more color. We're gonna do some purple again. Come here, Rita. Looks just like a rainbow, really nice, good looking rainbow here. Come here, Rita. Come here, Reed. Come over here. Do our last color. Give me a hand. Glow. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. You did a good job. So, look at those nice rainbow colors she's got going. That looks really awesome. But we got to give her a treat. She did such a good job. Come here, Reed. You got any more treats over there? Yes, we do. Let me grab some more treats for her.
Okay, we're gonna give us a round. Graham Crack was here. Zoe, thank you so much. Good job. That was a good job. She did very good. Now, she sprayed paint into the rainbow. She did some uh, white, some white stripes over there, red and white stripes. So I think now we have to sign, okay? We have to sign her uh, her artwork. Uh, so on the left hand side, put it on the red. Okay, we're gonna get some blue here. Blue right here, this will work. Mary, over here. All right, so we're gonna do a blue footprint. We're gonna have a 4th of July kind of one with the red, remember the red stripes we made earlier? We're gonna do a blue footprint. So this is kind of like her signature. She's gonna sign her artwork all right so we're gonna get get our little poster board ready over there and we're gonna invite everyone to do it along with del rita um, we also have a question when you guys have a set okay we have, ready, Pedro? we have some questions before we start Danny, we have any wait, you got a few questions Danny. yeah we so everybody if you have a question go ahead and type it into the chat um, our first question is, why yeah. does her skin have white parts on it? So this is a loss of pigmentation. As Asian elephants get older, they start to lose the color in their skin. Some will get a lot, some will get a little bit. It just depends on the elephant. So delrin has got a, quite a bit of it. Uh, and there's some other elephants that don't have very much. It just depends on how much they're gonna get. Now, African elephants are different. They're born gray and they, they stay gray their whole lives. Any other questions? Yes, how many elephants do you guys have at the Endangered Art Foundation? We have 16 elephants that stay with us here permanently. Wow. All and that, okay, wow. And, and how old are they? Uh, they range from different ages, from the youngest one that we have, he's, he's nine months old, to the oldest we have, she's 69 years old. Come here, Delrita, back up. Come here. Delrita, back up. Come here. Come here. Leave it alone. Back up. Do you guys have any more questions? Go ahead and put them in the chat. Do, do all the elephants like painting? A lot of them do, and that's because they're always getting treats. So as long as you're giving them treats, they're pretty much okay with doing whatever. They're very food motivated <laughs> animals. <laughs> How do you figure out if the elephants can paint or play the harmonica? Well, every elephant is different. Some are going to be better at certain things than others. So Delrita here, she always had a good knack for uh, really exhaling really, really hard. Anytime she would breathe, she'd always be real, real hard. And we kind of figured, well, maybe she'd be good at that. So we kind of just tried it out and see if it would work. And the way we did that was I would just take my hand and I'd put it over a trunk. And then uh, between my hand and the trunk, I'd have like a handkerchief. And I would just stand there and say, blow, blow, blow over and over again. until so she finally exhaled and I'd move my hand and the handkerchief would shoot off. Now, after a while, she started to figure out every time I said blow, I wanted her to shoot the handkerchief off, handkerchief off into the air. So then she started to figure out, oh, every time he says blow, I exhale real hard and I get a treat. So we figured she was gonna be pretty good at that. Then we have other elephants that are very good at moving their trunks up and down. So then we teach them how to hold things and then we give them a paintbrush and they learn how to hold a paintbrush and then we dip it in some paint and they can move the trunks up and down and paint just like that. Uh, Delrita, come here. Delrita never really liked doing that too much. So we really did teach her really good. Uh, but now we have another elephant. Come here, Rita, come over here. We have another elephant here. Her name is Dory, and she's five, and she's very good at it. She likes holding the paintbrush and painting all over types of canvases and everything. So we taught her how to do that really well as well. So you just kind of take every elephant. Uh, everyone's different. They have their own personalities. They're going to have their own good talents. So you just got to figure out who's good at what, and you kind of go from there. Okay, I've got a bunch of other questions. Um, I think you said it before, but how old is Delrita? Delrita is 47. 47, okay. And then... Um, where are you guys located? We are located in Hugo, Oklahoma. So if you guys ever do want to come visit us in person, you're more than welcome to. You can come here and have some custom artwork made for you right on the spot. Um, you can also order online if you can't make it out here. But if you do come out here, you can even help us uh, wash our elephants. You can help us do some pedicure routines that we do here. Uh, we also we're gonna let you pet and feed them throughout the day. So if you do have a chance to come out and see us in person, definitely come and give us a visit. We're always have our doors open. We're always letting everybody in. Everybody's always welcome. 
Okay. And the girls don't mind meeting a lot of new people. Oh. <laughs> um, do you have other animals there? We know we only have elephants here. Uh, we have some natural wildlife that just lives on our property, but you know, nothing that belongs to us actually. Come here, read it back up. Okay. Um, back up. Oh, oh my gosh, so many questions. Um, what, okay, here, I'll, I'll just do a couple in a row. Um, what do elephants eat? How do you wash them? And what does elephant skin feel like? Okay, so what do elephants eat? Elephants can eat uh, anywhere from 200 to 300 pounds of hay every day. Uh, we can feed them fruits and vegetables, at least 80 pounds worth. And then uh, grains, grains and different types of bran they will also eat. Uh, they also eat some grass. Not for that long. They eat grass that grows around here. But predominantly hay and fruits and vegetables is their is their main diet with a little bit of grain and bran as well. Uh, now, the way we wash them is we uh, we lay them down, we rinse them down. We've got some special elephant soap that is made just for them. It's very moisturizing. That's what makes it so special. Back up, come here, Rita, back up. Uh, and we scrub them down and we'll kind of get all over their body. We want to really exfoliate their skin. Now, Rita, back up, come here, back up. Come here, back up, back up. Back up, good girl, steady. Really exfoliate their skin. Uh, and now what does elephant skin feel like? Well, the best way to explain it is kind of like a, a hairy Brillo pad. That's the best way I can explain it. Uh, if any of you have ever touched a pig, they, some people say they feel like pigs, like hairy pigs, but it just, you gotta kind of touch them and see what it's really like. So if you do have a chance to come out here, you can kind of feel I wanna see what it feels like. Come here, Ray, come over here. Good girl, come here. Then, okay. Any more questions? Um, I think our last question is, um, how often do they go outside? Like how much time do they spend outside? How often do they go outside? Well, they're outside all day long almost. So in the summertime when it's real hot, we just leave our elephants outside all the time, except for when there's like storms or bad weather, then we'll bring them inside to our barns where we, we can keep an eye on them. We make sure they're okay. But other than that, they will always be outside playing in the mud and the grass, playing with the trees. So we want to make sure they get plenty of exercise. Come here, ready to go. Mary, okay, I think, so. I think that's our last question. Thank you so much. Awesome. No, no problem. Come here, Rita. Come here. So now we're gonna make uh we're gonna make Del Rita's signature. Okay. So Harry, are you ready with the paint? Let's do it. Yep. And now that we're at the end, we're gonna invite them to paint along with oh, us. Oh yeah. So if you guys want to paint along with us, um, uh, I don't know if you guys maybe want to put some paint on your hand. And then you guys can put it onto a piece of paper, kind of how Del Rita's going to do. So Del Rita, push, trunk, pick it up, trunk, pick it grow. We're going to clean off the bottom of our foot just like that. We're going to make sure we get a nice, good footprint. The page is going to get all that mud and dirt off. Put Del Rita, pick it up, good girl. Get all that dirt, Page, good job. Just like that, perfect. Foot. Good. Get it, Page. We're good. All right, now Pedro's going to put some uh, some of this paint in his hand, and he's going to rub it at the bottom of the foot. Trunk, pick it up. Trunk, Del Rita. Trunk, good girl. Good girl. Foot, pick it up so Pedro can see. Foot, Del Rita. Foot. Foot, good girl. Foot. Eddie. Girl, steady. Get it everywhere, Pedro. Get it everywhere. Foot, good girl. I think we did it. Steady, good girl. Foot, steady. Steady. Now we're going to put it up. I'm not talking about foot. Foot, Del Rita. Steady. Steady. Easy. All right, foot. Pick the other one up. All right, good girl. Foot, pick it up. Perfect. Steady. I think that looks like all oh, right. I think that looks like a pretty good Fourth of July. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty patriotic to me. That looks pretty awesome.